Some of you guys think this Honda Repsol design is corny. That this was a corny mod that I did to my bike. But you know what? In this video, I'm going to talk about five corny mods that are really corny. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Although I don't like advertising for Repsol, I tell you, I really like the colors of these because it stands out as high vis. Help keep me a little safe out here. Made me stand out like a sore thumb. That's what I like about it more than anything. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Love that CBI. 1000. Double R. Ah. The number one corny modification that you can do to your motorcycle that I've seen some motor vloggers do. I think it's really corny. Is putting vinyl wrap <laughs> on your motorcycle. You go through all of that trouble to install that vinyl wrap on each and every fairing. And it's corny, man. <laughs> and if you, you get any damage on the fairing at all, it exposes underneath. And it's not like you can go touch it up with some paint. <laughs> like you can with these aftermarket fairings I have on my bike. I think it's just plain corny and it's expensive, man. I mean, you could get a set of custom Chinese fairings that I've been rocking for years on, 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 on my CBR 600RR and this 1000RR. No problems. And they're cheap, under 500 bucks. You know? And if anything gets damaged on any one of these fairings, it's much cheaper and easier to replace. I don't go have to go through the hassle of rewrapping the fairing and all that. I just think that's whack, man. I can't believe it's like 2019 and we still got cats out here vinyl wrapping their cars and bikes. It's just corny, man. <laughs> but you know what? As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. That brings me to number two, Plasti Dip. <laughs> I see some of you guys still Plasti Dip in your motorcycle, man. You know, that is so... That's so like 10 years ago, man. I mean, or should I say about maybe about eight years ago. That is, that is corny. It's whack. And you know what? It, it's not a good thing to do because I'll tell you, I, I did that corny mod on my C, former CBR 250R wheels. I plastic dipped them black. <laughs> I even did a video, how-to video on it. Go check it out. But I'll tell you that, you know, riding out here on the streets, which can get dirty, you know, riding in mud puddles or whatnot, it actually will leave a stain on the plastic dip. I don't know what, you can't get the stain out. And it's just, honestly, it's a waste of time. Don't waste your time. Powder coat your wheels or, but anyways, number three mod that I still see people doing this ultra corny is they put LED lights on their motorcycle, man. Dude, 2019, we still got cats out here putting <laughs> LED light strips all over their bike to light it up at night, like a Christmas tree. I can't believe people are still doing that. And I mostly see Harley riders doing that nowadays. I don't see a whole lot of sport bike riders doing that anymore. But that is corny, it's outdated. You know what I'm saying, it's out of fashion. <laughs> but you know what though honestly the LED lights are good if you ride at night though even though it looks corny because it lights the bike up and the better you're seen at night is the, the possibly the safer you're gonna be out here on the street so in that aspect the LED lights are good if you're riding out at night but I'll tell you guys I did do that mod on my CDR 250R back in the day I put the white LED light strips and I went in my old hood in Cleveland. I, I got laughed out of the hood, guys. <laughs> they laughed me out of the hood. They said, they, I heard people yelling out, get them old tacky, ugly lights off your bike, man. Get out of here with that corny looking bike. <laughs> I, I slowly crept out of the hood and I got out of there, man, I'll tell you. 
Not that I care what people think, man, but I don't know, man. Do what you want to do. But anyways, number four. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, I love it. The CD, I love it. Number four is smoke covers. And I talked about this in, in some previous videos, too. I put the spoke covers on my WR250R, man. I can't believe I did that. Not only does it look cool, but what's awesome is that uh, when you when the bike gets really dirty, it's so much easier to clean the spokes with the uh, spoke protectors on here. And I'm, I'm really ashamed that I put spoke covers on my WR250R wheels. <laughs> but I didn't put them colored ones. I see some of you cats out there putting colored spoke covers on your dirt bike and your dual sport. I can't believe it's 2019 and cats are still doing that. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! That throttle in there. <laughs> can't believe it, man. Because that is the corniest mod. I, like I said, I can't believe I did it, man. <laughs> That's some, that's some crap that we did on our BMX bikes back in the days, man. And it's just, it's corny. You know what I'm saying? What you need to do, like I did with my WR250R, I got some proper new wheels and I had some powder coated spokes put on. And that's how you should, that's, you gotta, you, there's no way around it. You can't take the cheap way out, man. You gotta do it proper. You know what I'm saying? But we doing these, these stupid lane mods quick and easy and cheap because it looks corny man <laughs> number five corny mod is putting on a colored chain on your motorcycle you know it's 2019 and we still got cats out here putting on colored chains on their motorcycles <laughs> I can't believe it, man. We got cats out here with Repsol bikes with the orange chain. We got cats out there with the R1 purple chain to match their purple fairings. <laughs> or the red bike. Got red rims, red chain. Dude, that's, that's the type of shit we did when I was on my BMX bikes when I was a kid, man. I haven't put a matching color chain on a bike. <laughs> Since then, man, on a motorcycle, you only put black or gold, or black and gold. That's it. That's it. The, the color chains, man, that's that's so outdated, old school. Nobody does that no more, man. But they're, they're people, they do it still, but they're corny. <laughs> and I've done my fair share of corny mods over the years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not the total hater. I'm actually hating. I'm making fun of myself. Because I did some real corny mods back in the day. I actually did a video on it. You might want to go check out top five uh, horrible mods that I did back in the day. Uh, the one that really comes to mind is when I plasti dipped the gas cap. <laughs> that was the dumbest, corniest mod that I ever did, man. Because I tell you, as soon as gas touched that cap with the plastic dip on it, it completely dis disintegrated the plastic dip, man. It's just corny. But, uh, I don't know. Share your list of corny mods that people do on a motorcycle. I want to hear it. Let's laugh about it. Talk about it. It's all in front, guys. But anyways, guys, for those of you guys that want to get my gear, you know, like these gloves, my leather jackets, camo pants, my new helmet, boots, gloves, uh, all my stuff, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. Big thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.